If you want to get better safely, this is a required step in your journey. We have brain injuries, strokes, and spinal cord injuries are the primary patients that we serve here. It is a very unique environment. Tim had a stroke, and Tim had a lot of lack of insight. I wanted to go home, but when they said, no, you can't, you can't go home by yourself, you've got to go somewhere, I said, okay, let's go look at some places. This was the only place I looked at. Came in, said, this, this is it. Sign me up. He felt like we were trying to take control from him when we were really trying to show him where he had the control over the situation. Your brain remembers being normal, but you're no longer that person. You've got to relearn everything. And those days of pushback are really, they're really hard for both therapists and patients, right? That's where that trust comes in. I always tell my patients, you are not your brain injury. And right now, you're not seeing these things because of your brain injury. And I, I know who you are, I see who you are, I wanna help you get through this and figure out who you are with this brain injury. They're the experts. I'm not the expert on how to get better. They are. I rely on their professionalism and their knowledge to help me get better. A lot of it is knowing the person. And how would you want to be treated if I was in his position? And how would I want someone else to treat me? He was a guy that was Mr. Fix-It and did all those things at home, had land, loved to go fishing. We took him fishing with a group once and we practiced all those skills with him, whether it was threading the fishing line and the hook together or showing him how to do it because he's a hemiparetic. That one arm did not work so well. I want to be able to use my left arm and left hand as well as I could use it before the stroke. That's a long-term goal, but I'll, one day I'll get there. Tim is now back to driving. He volunteers a few days a week at a local food shelter. He's not gone back to work, but has found so much joy in the life that he has been able to build for himself post-stroke. I'm no longer gonna work, so I use my time in a volunteer status. There's a food pantry in the next town north of me. I volunteer four days a week at the local food pantry. I want to cry every single time he comes back. He is full of joy, just really happy overall. You can just, as soon as he walks in the door, you're like, oh, it's Tim, he's back. It's like a piece of our family has come back when he comes to visit.